Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. Larry here. Yesterday I turned the big 50, man. <laughs> 50 years old. I was gonna go and get a nice little Starbucks treat uh, yesterday, but I didn't get a chance, so I'm going to today take you guys along with me and uh, show you exactly what I get on a carnivore diet when I go to Starbucks, which isn't very often. It's probably been about three months since Cassie and I uh, had a Starbucks. Last time we went to the mall is actually when we got one. Um, really enjoy them once in a while. Of course, they're expensive, but uh, I think you appreciate them more when you don't have them that often. One thing I always order, um, it's delicious, and you know, if you consume coffee, I think you can consider it carnivore. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy it today. You know, yesterday for my birthday, all the kids came over, had a great time, and I really didn't have a chance to get out and uh, get one. And I wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you um, who, who sent me all the wonderful birthday wishes, um, you know, on our community posts on Instagram, Facebook. I love you guys. There's so many of you, and I was pretty overwhelmed. It's like, well, I'm not going to put out a post. I'll just do a video. And, uh, you know, why not celebrate with you guys with a little coffee? Uh, a couple people actually bought me a coffee with our buy me a coffee link in the description. So you guys are literally buying me a coffee and I thank you guys for that. But I had a wonderful birthday. My ideal and perfect birthday for me is to be at home with all my kids, um, have a nice meal and just hang out. And that's pretty much what we did. The only one who wasn't able to join us was Ashley and her man Nick and our grandson Jet. They're in Colorado, but everybody else was able to make it and we had a blast all right we're up let's order thanks for choosing starbucks or can i get a starter for you hi can i get a vente latte uh hot and can i substitute the milk with heavy cream anything else uh nope that'll do it thank you so that is a large latte um substitute the milk with heavy cream and i'm telling you when you don't have them very often you know they steam that heavy cream Oh my goodness, it tastes so sweet, you know, when, you're, when you haven't been consuming um, cream, especially steamed cream. And for the month of March, I didn't, I didn't consume any cream at all, so this is gonna be good. So back to my birthday, it was ideal for me, it was perfect. We ended up grilling some chicken quarters, Cassie made a big old pan of sauteed shrimp, and uh, she also made some deviled eggs, which were phenomenal. We, we didn't cater to anybody since it was my birthday, you know, no standard American diet food uh, other than, you know, some drinks for everybody. But, you know, we, we stuck to carnivore and uh, Cassie's she was actually filming most of the day. and She wouldn't tell me what she was filming. So I, I think she's going to surprise me with a little video or something. <laughs> We'll see. But you know, I always tell my kids, don't get me anything. I just want you guys here, let's hang out. But this year, I guess the big 50, they really hooked me up with some cool presents, man. You know, they all chipped in. They got me this beautiful custom cutting board um, with Carnivore Quest on it. And I just, it's so cool. And then they got me a couple of Carnivore t-shirts. And then they got me um, a PS5, which I've been putting off getting a PS5 for years. I just don't play a lot of video games anymore. You know, our family, as the kids were growing up, we, we would be considered a gamer family. We played a lot of video games and the kids are bugging me. All of them have the PS5 at their house and they're like, you know, we can't play online with you anymore. <laughs> so they chipped, they chipped in together and got me one. It is fun to play games online with your family, you know, sit down for an hour and kill some Nazi zombies. All right, on our way back home, let's give this a first sip of Kaya White. Oh yeah. <laughs> that heavy cream just, oh, it's, a, it's got such a nice little sweetness to it when they steam it. Um, delicious. And you know, every once in a while is a way to go with these. You know, seven bucks for a cup of coffee with tip. Can't do that every day, right? But for my 50th birthday, yeah. I think I have five coffees bought um, on my birthday. So yeah, I can get a few of these over the next couple weeks. Damn! Cassie got me some wonderful gifts kind of on the private side uh, that, that were pretty amazing. A beautiful card. And I just, my 50th birthday was just, I couldn't ask for a better one, guys. I really couldn't have. 
you know, it's weird. My mom, you know, was killed when she was 54. Um, and it's just kind of mind boggling. I'm almost there, you know, it's, it, it's really weird how time works, but yeah. Also the bracket, um, I'm using to record this video. Um, that was a gift too, which is awesome. You know, it's connected to the windshield. Usually in the car, I'm always holding the camera, you know, and now I'm hands free, baby. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man, that is good. What do you guys order at Starbucks when you when you stop by once in a while? Or any coffee place, you know? Um, you got a few options when you're on the carnivore diet. Um, I know my daughter, Holly, gets a, a latte breve, and that's with half and half, which to me has a little more sugar in it, but you know, not much. But I love the heavy cream steams. Also, as far as Starbucks food goes, we have gotten their egg bites a few times and then looked up later on and, and they got a pretty high carb count. So I haven't had those in quite a while. I think the last time we had those, we were on our way up north to visit Cassie's dad. So it was well over a year ago and we got those little egg bites, you know, and they are expensive. But, you know, in a pinch, like especially if you were on keto, you know, you could definitely do those. But yeah, I'm glad you guys went up there with me. Um, I just want to take this opportunity and thank you for all the birthday love. You know, instead of putting out a bunch of posts on all, on all the different social media platforms, I'm just going to do it here at Carnivore Quest Home on YouTube and say thank you all so much. You made my 50th very special, you know, and I read all the comments and, you know, it, it blows me away how many people, um, you know, Cassie and I have, have touched their lives. So, uh, and, and to get that love reciprocated back to you is, is pretty cool. So thank you. For the rest of my day, I will be working on our cars. I got to check all the oil, tire pressure, you know, my monthly maintenance. We have four older vehicles, so I do take care of that once a month. You know, <laughs> keep them on the road. It's such a beautiful day out. Thanks to Carnivore Diet, I can come out and enjoy it, right? One last thing too, the eclipse was amazing. You know, seven years ago, we were in the path of totality. And that was really cool. That was impressive when it got dark midday. This year, you know, not so much. It got a little dim and, you know, it was, I think it was like 80% uh, covered up. But it was still cool. You know, we were out there with the glasses and, uh, you know, enjoyed it together. Had a good time. Any event like that that brings, you know, the country together is pretty cool. You know, you see people from all walks of life talking about it online and, you know, it brings people together. I, I really dig uh, events like that. You know, get people talking and, uh, you know, everybody on the same page for once. <laughs> so, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. Um, I love you. I had a wonderful birthday, and you were all part of that. We'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, and no cheating. Oh, and if you didn't see my last video about how to make thick pork chops, I'll put it right here. <laughs>